Um, and then just the brief update on the maintenance shed. Um, I have RF, uh, informal RFPs out through the Marin Builders Association, through the North Coast Builders Exchange in Sonoma County, as well as direct appeals to contractors. We're just trying to get somebody who will come in and uh, install and then subsequently remove story poles for the maintenance facility. That's our only outline requirement. I've had them out there. I pushed them out a second time. I've had one person express some interest. I've received zero proposals on this work so far, and uh, it really needs to be done by a, a, a licensed contractor, not just, this isn't something I would have our park guys go to. Um, it needs to be staked, it needs to be in appropriate places, it needs to clearly uh, identify the edges of the building and the perimeter of the roof line, it needs to have netting up the roof line, the whole nine yards. So, uh, if you know any contractors capable and qualified of doing this work, by all means, the nice thing is, it's a small job that they can probably squeeze in between other jobs. Mm -hmm. The sad thing is, there's more work out there than there are qualified people to do the work, and this is a small job. Yeah. Yeah. It's a catch-22, so you, you're leaning on every resource I know uh, to get this thing done, um, so we can fully satisfy all of those requirements. And the planning knows, planning knows all, all the efforts that we've put forth and all the notices that we've put out there. And, Put together a brief informal RFP for it. Uh, utilize the plans that uh, Hansel uh, designed put together for us. It's very clear what needs to be done, and ideally somebody qualified to come in and do it in a couple of days. And this is for the new maintenance shop. Yep. Okay. Is there a that? I already tried that out. Yeah, trust me, I, I've leaned on every person I can think of. Is the design for that facility approved, or where is that? No, that's what we're at. So it is in the design review stage. Putting up these story poles is the final process of it. The application and the documents have been deemed as complete. Um, they're just waiting for the actual installation of the story poles. It'll go through a notice period as part of that. Uh, and then what next steps occur from there, I'm not totally clear on because I don't think the planning department is 100% clear on it, whether it goes up to the planning commission or not. Uh, time will tell. I have a question actually about that facility, and maybe you've answered this already, but where will the um, vehicles turn around after they drive through? Uh, vehicles aren't necessarily going to be driving through. That's the kind of big mis Well, but that's the big mis misnomer. They're not the drive through is an option that they can have. If needed, to simply be able to move equipment or material into that bay. The intention is not for the vehicles to be driving through. The intention is for them to be coming into the main area and then coming out of the main area all through that entrance along Miller it's Creek. Not to have them drive through and then turn around in the area where we just fix the culvert. No, no, no. There's a misunderstanding about that. Uh, that's one term for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything else? All right.